everyone it's julia welcome back to a new vlog it's officially christmas vacation i am at my parents house in marietta my cousin's here my aunt's here grandma she's always here she lives here and my brother and Brittany will be here tomorrow it is christmas i have to make my bed i don't know about you guys i don't generally have everything together all the time but i always make my bed because otherwise i just feel really bad about myself it's really important for your self-esteem to make your bed <laughs> This is the outfit of the day. OOTD. Um, you know, if you want to get the look, you might gotta make sure you get these shorts from Target and make sure you splatter paint on the butt and then have your brother go to Thailand and then steal his shirt from him. Next most important thing of the day is coffee. But guys, this is so interesting. So I found this this morning and was really confused and thought my parents broke the Keurig and I asked my mom why it was like this and she said that you're just supposed to put the coffee in here and put it in this thing. And I said, why? And she said, because it's cheaper and better for the environment. I didn't notice until recently, but those Keurig pods, they are really expensive, but they're also super bad for the environment because you only get like one cup of coffee and you have all this plastic. The maker of the Keurig pods actually went through this like insane depression and incredible amounts of regret for making them. He like completely regretted making them because they're so bad for the environment. I had no idea until a few months ago. So this is a good option if you have a Keurig and you want to switch over. Look how pretty my mom made the house for Christmas. So growing up I was super obsessed with this Christmas village and so I would get a different piece every year and I loved it. I would literally play with it like a dollhouse. My dad even built me this table so I could put it up behind our couch. But now that I'm older and I don't live here, I don't typically put it up. So my mom put it in the middle of the kitchen table. So the table my dad made me like was really long and skinny and it fit perfectly behind our couch that was in the living room. And it was actually really funny. So when I was 19, and uh, it was a different time back then. I was a different person, had different, different priorities. My parents were out of town that summer like a lot. So I threw a lot of parties. <laughs> I was like a freshman in college and we I, I used that table to play beer pong I did and I didn't want my parents to know and the table had a lot of stains on it like rings from cups and so I decided this really awesome solution would be to paint the table because in general I'm a very quirky whimsical strange person and so I thought to myself if I paint the table rainbow swirls then my parents won't think that's out of my normal behavior they'll think that's super normal and then they won't see the stains on the table <laughs> so i painted it literally like rainbow swirls i think i have it downstairs i can actually show you and my mom came home and was like oh you painted that table that's pretty and i was like thanks and they didn't know about the four plus parties i threw that summer however like a couple years later i felt really guilty i was like mom i have a few outstanding lies we're actually driving home from dc to move back to Georgia so I can go on the world race. And I was like, mom, I have an outstanding lie. I've never told you. And I told her about the parties I threw and she was like, oh, I don't care. <laughs> Actually, let's go down the stairs and I'll show you the table because Sarah Brin and my dad are down there. They're having like a nice bonding moment together. They're building something. I don't know, Sarah Brin wanted to learn how to build something. So she asked my dad to help her. This is where we keep my grandma. We keep her in the basement. <laughs> I love to tell people we keep my grandma in the basement. Even though it's like this beautiful apartment. Oh, gorgeous. Here's the table. See how it's long and skinny and has rainbow swirls on it? And there's my dad and my cousin. I don't know what they're doing. Also, this is my grandma's flag collection. I've mentioned this before. Actually, I think I mentioned this on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you wouldn't have known it. But my grandma has all these flags and she's like the official flag keeper and she does an outstanding job how's it going great we cool. had wooden spools now we have pieces of wood wow 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 wait where did you get those those are cool i bought them 25 dollars for four of them from uh so we can compare plywood um, wait where what are you doing now we're going to home depot you want to come yeah i do all right we'll probably measure you it. should put on shoes we're going to Home Depot. Because your seatbelt's not on. Rolling deep in the sweatshirt Uncle club. Uncle safety seatbelt belt oh! not on. <laughs> Uncle safety. We're going to strip you of your captain title. Yeah. We've called my dad Uncle safety ever since my brother was in high school. So who knows when that was. But you guys left the nest and now he goes all willy-nilly. Yeah. Eating around town seatbeltless. <laughs> 
Allie, you know, wow, 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 Allie. She, I told her that we call him Uncle Safety, but she messes it up all the time and she calls him Captain Safety. <laughs> and sometimes she calls him the captain. When I was in seventh grade, I was on the Lasseter High School Junior middle school dance team, whatever it's called. And this Home Depot had like a grand opening. It used to be a Kmart and we performed at it. So that's really cool. Okay guys, so I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm driving back to Gainesville to get my computer. Um, if you're confused, I left the computer in my room and my friend who works at AIM, but also her parents live at Marietta, she was gonna try and get it for me but the spare key we have is like not working and so I'm gonna go get it. I considered just not having the laptop until I get back, but then I won't be able to finish Vlogmas and that makes me really sad because I was doing a really good job, it was going great, and I really wanna finish. And I have like legitimate work that I need to do and it stresses me out to have to do it on my phone. So, just gonna go do it. It's only an hour there, an hour back, so it'll be like, and I, two hours out of my life, but I'll probably get stuck in Friday night traffic, so it might be more, but whatever. Whatever, it's fine. I'm just gonna get over it. It's gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> I love this song! Man, Christmas traffic. Comment down below if you guys like driving. I hate driving. I hate driving, but I love this song. Alright, made it back to the Gainesville house, got my laptop, and a bunch of other things that I decided I wanted. Also, I checked the mail and I have a package from my friend Lauren. I totally forgot to include this clip I have. Um, she is my friend from college, she's been in a variety of vlogs, and she invited me to be a bridesmaid in her wedding this summer. Wait. <laughs> Julia? Scratch here. What do I do it with? <gasps> yeah! Is from my friend Lauren. She's getting married on July 22nd. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh no, it has nothing to do with her wedding. It's just a present. Wishing you a merry little Christmas. Tell it's a cross ornament. Thank you, Lauren. All right, let's hit the road before Friday traffic overtakes us. All right, I'm back now. In fact, I'm doubly back now because my dad and I had to leave the house again because I couldn't find the charger to my DSLR 70D, like anywhere. And we had to go to the pharmacy. We've just been everywhere. It's been a long day. This has been an interesting vlog. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Um, if you haven't seen all of Vlogmas, I've created a playlist and I'm gonna link it either below or on the screen, maybe both. That would be exciting. So give this video a thumbs up, check out the videos you haven't seen, and leave me a comment. All right, bye all.